I'm not ready yet.
What is this?
Why, you found a dust daisy. A trader was asking about them just yesterday. Here, let me give you something for it. Still breathing. He is lucky to be. That old man there, he claims to be Horadrim, but he drinks like an ox. He came to town days ago, looking for a servant of the demon Lilith. A pale man. It seems he didn't like what he found. I see. I will take it from here. Who are you? He and I met in the Fractured Peaks. I saw his pale man in a vision. You couldn't believe it. Enough. He's yours. Just keep away from the bottle, both of you. Damn, Owls, what do you want? You told me to meet you here, Lorath, remember? Of course I remember. I'm just surprised you're not dead. Hand me that bottle. What happened to you? I was attacked, obviously, by vast quantities of alcohol, wielded by my own treacherous hand. <sighs> There may also have been a brawl with the goats over this patch of mud, but I like to think I triumphed. Lorath, who is the Pale Man? <sighs> the Pale Man is... or was... Haradrim. Haradrim? Well, then you must know him. <sighs> I thought I did, once. His name is Elias. He was my apprentice. He was the one who brought Lilith to Sanctuary. It's possible that I did not take the news very well. What must we do then? Find him. Figure out what he's done. And then kill him. Listen. There's a woman here someplace. She has some messages we'll need. And I'm of no use to anyone right now. Could you find her? Enough time has been wasted. Oh, check around the inn. Ask if she's heard from the Orbe Monastery. No, no word from Orbe. Same as yesterday and the day before. But I have something else. Rumor has it a pale man passed through the Abaru Canyon some time ago. Fearsome fellow, dressed in black. After Laura's performance last night, I wager he'll want to know. that Lilith would come for Astaroth, let alone offer his boy to it. 
but what does she buy in return? Astaroth hails from the realm of hatred, same as she. Perhaps she left something at home. Inarius' stupidity never ceases to amaze. Had he not murdered Rasma, Lilith might have been stopped, but now? Now she has the key to hell. We can assume she'll be looking for a door. Strange. I wrote to the Orbe Monastery the day I arrived. The abbot should have replied by now. Tekrin spoke of a rumor. A pale man. Seen near the canyons. The canyons? Why didn't you say so? We go at once. Ugh. But we can't leave Orbe unchecked. Sod it. I'm off to the canyons. You can meet me there or go to the monastery. You seem reliable thus far. Do not prove me wrong. <laughs> Is he insane, you mean? Elias was an exceptional mage. He would plunge through fire and shite in search of the truth and very often found it. For whatever truth he has found in Lilith, only he can say the why of it. The scholars of Orbe devote their lives to the study of forbidden knowledge. To serve the light, we must know the darkness, or some other silly platitude. I wrote to the abbot seeking insights on Lilith. His silence is most unusual. The man never misses a chance to speak.
This place has been taken. It reeks of forbidden spells. Lorathna, how bizarre it is to hear from you. Your charming apprentice arrived just this morning with equally disturbing news, but he made no mention of you. Am I to assume you did not send him? Join Sir Dolpe as soon as you are here. anyone here? Murder! Murder in the sacristy! Lock the doors! What about the others? The elbow?
so excited when I walked into the sacristy that day. Finally, in my turn to enter the archive and explore the knowledge of darkness. Now, I'd give anything to forget what I've learned. Mission during a time of troubles, the Orbe Archive once served to codify heresies for the Inquisition. Since then, the Archive has expanded to the study of all evils, restricted to only the most devout scholars of Zakharov. Critics rightly fear the dangers of our scholarship, but ignorance of evil offers little protection. Damn you, Abbot! Why did you let him in? Radrim and angels alike in the fight against the darkness. And with me, 
Until evening, I shall keep it safe. And then... <laughs> the abbot, open the door. And the pale devil smiled. He took the forbidden knowledge. It's all right. I've cleared the way out. Can you walk? There is no way out. What knowledge remains must never leave. Unto evening I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. We must protect the archive.
From morning, my eyes were opened, and I saw the coming darkness. Through the day, I have prepared to accept the burden of knowledge. Unto evening, I shall keep it safe, and into the night hereafter. Deserve to burn with the rest of it. Where is Elias? Gone. He said the ruin of sanctuary was imminent and only I could help. He is going to summon a lesser evil. He took all he needed and then my scholars. He murdered them. He... My friends, forgive me. from the Forbidden Archive. He has the means to summon a lesser evil. He what? Which bloody one? Oh, of course we don't know. The lesser evils are second in power only to the Primes. If Elias can summon one to his control, he could drown us all in blood. Yeah. <laughs> 
stone carver lives in that house. A man called Genba. It's hidden, isolated. Perfect for working in solitude. Reminds me of your house. to a hell rip. I will go to put them down. Search the house. See what you can find. Today, Master Elias called at my door. I had trouble with my words, so I showed him my carvings. He said he could see my pain in them the pain of a lonely man who had learned to hate the world. And yet, our mother, Lilith, found me beautiful. He said there are others like me as well. And together, we will build the new world. What a damn mess. Burning hells! We're too late. Elias is long gone. This Genbar is our summoner. How can you be certain? Isn't it obvious? Elias finds Genbar alone, friendless, full of anger. So he plays him like a fiddle, offers him Lilith's love and a part in his grand delusion. Then he gives him tools to express his anger. Summoning scrolls. Very perceptive. Who knows how long Gambar has stewed in this madness? 
Let's hope he can still be questioned. Elias, to show me the way. I long for the day when we stand by your side and set the cleansing fire. Visitors, D did Master Elias send you? Master Elias? Well, yes, in fact, he did. Ours is a very important mission. We have something for the Master, but we had heard he was with you. Do you know where he is? Liar! Dirty pig's born liar! The Master has all he needs! News first. Gemba was expecting someone. It seems Elias has turned others to his madness. Taught them to summon too, I'd wager. You heard Gemba. The master has all he needs. They're about to do something drastic. And the good news? <laughs> Elias gave us a gift, remember? This demon he sent to kill us. It is unique. It requires constant feeding. Human sacrifices, in fact. 
If I cut open his belly, someone inside might hold a clue. Tell us where it came from. I must have it brought to Kedbardu for examination. We'll meet there later. Lead me to my work. At last, Elias's pet demon is inside, ready for the knife. Could Elias know we survived his attack? Oh, he knows. And that means we are running out of time. Come, let's see if his demon ate something useful. <sighs> Perhaps you are too young. The prime evils you should know. Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. The lessers are their rotten kin. Asmodan, Belial, Andariel, and Duriel. Each of them has ravaged humankind since the dawn of history, and they will gladly do so again. He asked me endless prying questions. Frankly, I should be more concerned about your past. Trusting one soul connected to Lilith is quite a risk on my part, and one I do not take lightly. It was protecting that fool, Genma. <sighs> this is Elias's work, but where is he? The answer lies in the stomach. <clears throat> this is delicate. A soft noble's hand. Elias would have to feed this thing with more than fancy boots. That's someone's son. Or daughter. We should burn demons. This is wrong. Ah, this medallion bears the crest of the ruler of the royal house of Gul'ran. Former ruler. Obviously. That's enough, old man. The dead deserve respect. The dead deserve nothing when the living are in danger. Now Gul'ran has a new ruler, and we have Elias to thank for it. The dead may be worthless to you, but that medallion could bring peace to those two mourning. <sighs> Fine. If we are to find Elias, then we must also travel to Gul'ran. Meet me there, and be swift about it. Oh, and avoid the city gates. Too many cannibals. Go to the cliffs. We'll find help there.
could have you to come. Pity you didn't bring an army of siege works. Elias is here. Gone to the palace, no doubt. Behind the high wall with the gates barred behind him. We can't get through. You know who can. Zelaya. Chia. How many messages did I send? Huh? How long has Oyun been missing? Trapped in there with those butchers? She may be the only one left who knows of the tunnel. If she's still alive. If this tunnel exists at all. You don't trust me. Of course not. You're a thief. Useful years ago, true. But it's clear you have some other reason to seek this you. Not your business. If I were to look for Oyun, where would I start? She has a house in the market square. We were supposed to meet there before, but I couldn't get close. Try to come back alive. Not convinced this Oyun is worth the risk. But perhaps she'll prove me wrong. Here, have a little faith for once, old man.
I'm out of mana. I need time to think. away. The prisons, I heard. Why would these monsters keep anyone alive? The prisons. Maybe there is a chance Oyun lives.
Zolaya sent me. She... she's still here? You'll see her soon. We need to get through the market. I... I know another way. It's safer. The old prison wing. It was sealed off years ago after an earthquake. Where did the cannibals come from? Here. They were prisoners. A clan of bandits. Led by Tyrant Bro. I overheard them talking about a, a new age to come and the man who would bring it. Elias. I think he turned them into these monsters. Set them free. The wall ahead. That used to be the entrance to the old prison wing. In the brick stone. Stay close.
out of mana. Yeah. from shaking. Give me a moment. I was waiting for Zolaya at my home. When I realized she wasn't coming, I, I tried to run. But those monsters caught me. Royal blood ruled Guran for generations. Decadent and cruel, but they were saints compared to Bro. I... I saw him at the royal court. He walked in, unannounced. <gasps> Demanded the city to be given to him. The overseer sent him to the prisons, of course. They laughed about the strange man all night. That was the last time they laughed. Yes, where is she? Now, nothing will get you up here. Zolaya! Ho oh, Yun! Oh, you've come back to me! You waited. Kept yourself in danger. Oh, you stubborn cow. Of course I waited. Where would I go without you to tell me? Anywhere. Away from here. Yes, well, you are a lucky fool, I'll give you that. Ah, Lorath here sent this one to find you. They need your help getting into the palace. There's an old escape tunnel. The entrance is in the caverns nearby. Behind an alcove marked with the Overseer's Cross. Twin sabers joined at the hilt. Press the left pommel to open the way. Caverns. Hmm. Could be worse. Wanderer. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Let's go. Hiya. I think that was the merchant's horse. That's not telling. You know, when we first met, I assumed this connection you have with Lilith would lead you to darkness, as it has Elias. But after the good you've done here, maybe I was wrong. We shall see. While you were in the city, I was thinking on Elias's plans which of the lesser evils he means to summon. What he did to go round is a clue. He has drowned it in blood. Meaning his goal is likely Duriel or Andaril. What's the difference? 
Duriel feeds off physical pain and Dariel revels in mental and emotional torment. Whichever one it is, if Elias succeeds, many more cities will share Gulran's fate. Our only hope is he hasn't completed the summoning yet. It's locked. Oyun said the tunnel is in it. Elias has finished his grand work. What work? You will see soon, bro. The seeds we have sown will bear fruit. Gulran will be reborn and so will... But work? Elias, he is poised to summon Andariel into the world. Her, her power will lift us to new heights. And of course, you, you will have more meat. Huh. I want to watch. Certainly, Great Brawl. You will be the guest of honor. And Ariel, the 
maiden of anguish. That is the lesser evil he means to summon. Heavens help us.
the prophecy is unfolding before my eyes. I was right to act on it. When the prime evils come, they will find no easy prey. We will be ready. Our rebirth begins here, with Andariel chained to the heart of Gulran. She will feed on the suffering in this city of anguish, and we in turn will feed on her. Andariel's power will be ours to wield against the other Lords of Hell, if more must die to see it come to pass. So be it. I will not fail you, Mother. I recognize many of these books. They must have stolen them from their Roderick vault. And Daryl, chained to the heart of Gulran. Her evil will not stay contained here. It will drown the land in suffering. This is beyond madness. Quite the opposite. Elias' mind is clear for once. When I knew him, he was searching for purpose. I couldn't give him one, and so he found it in Lilith. I didn't stop him. I let him become... this. Now is our chance to make it right before things get even worse. Yes, we have what we need. The summoning will take place at the Temple of the Primes in Mount Sivo. Now to find a way out. Knowing Elias, he would have had an escape route in case things didn't go his way. Behind the bookcase. I guess that's the one thing he learned from me. Should have killed him when I had the chance. We must hurry. its ancient temple. Trouble is, we can't simply walk in. Elias was researching something about shrines to Mephisto, Baal and Diablo. Only the blessed can open the way. Yes, but to be blessed by the prime evils. Damn risky. If it is the key to getting inside the temple, I will take the risk. Bale Shrine is close. We'll start there. Destruction. His 
influence has launched every war in history. Never once has he tired of conflict. Speak his true name. Tor Belos. Tor Belos. <coughs> Are you all right? I'm... I'm fine. Two more shrines to go. Diablo and then Mephisto. Stay strong. Agitating you. I told you I can handle it. Tell me what to say, and then go search for the temple. So be it. When you're ready, speak the name of Dull Mephistos. But watch yourself. Dull Mephistos. We 
once again. Mephisto, I know who you are now. Yes, but that doesn't mean we can't help each other. That mortal Elias seeks to use the power of the Primes for his own ends. No one knows their place anymore, do they? <laughs> his meddling has drawn echoes of the past to my refuge of hatred. But you and I can put things back in order. Once you've brought peace to this realm, I will be able to give you my blessing. The forces of hell approach!
So long. I saw something at the shrine. A wolf. Hmm. Mephisto has been known to take such a form. Uh, it's not the first time I've encountered him. What? When you kept this from me? We all keep secrets, don't we, Haradrim? We don't have time for this now. Elias could be in the middle of his ritual already. Clear your head before we press on. The Temple of the Primes is just next.
Stay to the shadows. I looked away, he vanished. 
If he survived, he will have fled to his refuge. Refuge? He has a palace somewhere in the deserts of eastern Kyrgyzstan. But that is all I know. Well, there's one bit of good news. With him gone, perhaps the cannibals in Gulran will fall into disarray. We should get to Tassarak. The people there know the deserts of Keshistan well. Maybe someone has heard of this palace. Let me join you. I don't know how much help I will be in this condition, but I owe you my life. You don't owe us anything, but you are welcome to come. You deserve vengeance too. Just rumors, mostly. The people here speak of a sorcerer who lives in a grand palace beyond the endless sandstorm. One of these nomads could help us reach it. They know the land better than... <sighs> Taisa. <sighs> and Daria. I hear her. <sighs> I need a place to focus. Keep her voice at bay. Look for a guide. I'll get something to help Taisa clear her mind. You'll find none fool enough to accept that request here. Give up and stay alive a day longer. Chance, not for all the gold in Chaldean. Are you mad? There's a sorcerer living in that storm who will rip your flesh from your bones. Wait, what about the old man? What? Better to ask the dark sorcerer for a quick death 
But uh, if you're desperate, he may be the only one crazy enough to agree. He spends his days in a cloud of smoke at the riverbank. It's dangerous there. Be careful. Found a quiet spot where she can focus on controlling Andariel's presence. Is it safe to leave her here? Safer than stumbling blind through the desert. At least until we find a reliable guide. to collect. We need... Huh? It can't be. Can it? Is that a symbol of the whole? Uh, the horror of... Uh, Horadrim? Yes. Horadrim. Decat? Decat Cain. Can it be you, old friend? It's me! My chief! No. Decat is gone. My name is Loras. We need your help passing through the sandstorm to the north. Sandstorm, eh? The others must have turned you down. Told you some rubbish about a sorcerer, I'll wager. <laughs> uh, well, uh, what can a sorcerer do to me that time hasn't already? <laughs> yes, yes, I'll help. There's an old chapel near there, an auspicious spot to begin a new adventure. Good. Gather whatever you need. I'll fetch Taisa and meet you there. Ha! This is wonderful! Like old times, eh, Deckard?
why you're here. Deckard is inside with your friend. The moment we stepped inside, Andariel grew desperate. But her screams are only a whisper now. This is holy ground. Her influence will be weaker here. I am. Up to Taisa, whether she'll join us, though. Every part of me wants to walk through that storm and draw Elias' blood. But... Perhaps he is counting on my vengeance to lead me back to him. So he can finish what he started. It is safer for everyone if I stay. No shame in that. It's the wise choice. We'll bring you his hat. No. I've been a burden for you already. One day, I will find a way to help you. Terrible things. Mad things. She knows of Lilith's return and what Elias is planning. That Andario does not care who wins, only that someone loses. And that their suffering is extreme. Hasn't told you much about himself, eh? I remember when he couldn't stop him from talking. We met several lifetimes ago. In Aranak, I believe. Oh, maybe Lutgalain. That's right. I was a sailor back then. And a handsome one, too. Deckard was always such an intense fellow. But kind and dependable. Took it upon himself to right any wrong he found, <laughs> and we found many. To think I would find him here of all places, still just as intense and still traveling with interesting company. <laughs> Are you? I hope you've lined your pockets with healing drafts. If not. Help yourself to the ones I keep on old Isabella here. <laughs> Storm's going to get worse, too. I can smell it. When it starts to kick up, we'll have to find something to shelter us, or there'll be nothing left of us but bones and stories. Angry! 
Follow me!
No shade or devil could stand in our way. I've been all across this world since then. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. But it was never quite the same. Wandering without a direction, it was just... waiting. Aye. It's important to have something to walk towards. One foot in front of the other, eh, hey, old friend? If we stop walking, we die. Sounds like the winds have calmed. Stay close. was hidden beyond the storm. A relic from the old days of Kedjistan, maybe. Lost to time until Elias seized it. He must have stole some treasure, eh? Masif, don't move. Don't speak to anyone. There is great danger lurking here. You've grown fearful in your old age, my friend. But worry not. I will stay put. Elias chose them to join his anointed circle? <laughs> that one in rags will never survive what is to come. It was Master Elias's hand that brought Lilith to sanctuary, and it will be his hand that binds a lesser evil to our will. Imagine, when we hold that kind of power, seen you before. We just made it through the storm. By the Mother's grace. Ah, new disciples. You've come at an auspicious time. Lilith recently graced us with her presence. She was here. Oh, it was magnificent. But do not worry. Perhaps Master Elias will give you a glimpse of her through the sightless eye. If he deems you worthy. Go inside and present yourself to him. Damn. This is worse than I thought. Elias has the sightless eye. It's ancient magic. He can see anywhere with it. Across time, even. Our flock has grown. Behold, the one... Raise your heads high, champions of Lilith! Never again will we feel... Mother, bless me with your power. And whatever you ask of me, it will be done. Go forth 
and stand in judgment before Master Alliance. But show no fear, no hesitation. Don't worry, we won't. I knew you would come, Lorath. Been spying on us with a sightless eye, have you? You think I would waste such magic on you? You're still just as narrow-minded as the day I left you. I will put you out of your misery, old man. You should have stayed in that little cabin. Hoarding your regrets. Yeah. You. This is over. We should find the sightless eye while we still have time. We can't leave it with these fanatics. Hold on, I see something. Blood petals. destroy Sanctuary, and she's empowering people to stand against them. That's why she and Elias are gathering followers. They're building a bloody army. Yes, Lorath. The Lords of Hell threaten our existence, and we are doing something about it. Elias, how are you still alive? You will never understand what I have done for this world.
must go. We can't keep bashing our heads against him like this. He'll wear us down. We need to escape, but not without the sight of eye. If we can take it, that'll rob him of some power at least. for the eye, Lorath. Taking it will change nothing. It is too late to stop what Lilith has begun. Better 
Here it is. The sightless eye. Mashif can help us get the artifact far from this place. But we need to hurry before Elias returns. That opening over there is our best chance of escape. Lost a step in my old age, eh, Dracata? No. Hey, <coughs> you made it. Did you kill that sorcerer fellow? Don't talk. The storm was broken. We'll get you out of here. Oh, it's a shame. <coughs> I got mine. Just a hair too late. Sneaky devil poked me in the back. <sighs> Skewered like a quill rat. So it goes. Hey, dear God. Aye. So it goes. I'll be coming. I'm taking the sightless eye. We need a safe place to study it. Use it against them. We'll meet at the desert chapel. Go. Once, in fact. Trouble is, he won't stay dead. Hmm. He is more powerful than I thought. I underestimated him. So did I. But we took something important from him, at least. The sightless eye. I think he was using it to commune with Lilith from afar. A powerful piece of magic. And dangerous. Perhaps we can use it to our advantage. Give me some time to study it. The prime evils were reforming. Hell was coming. But Elias was not the answer to anyone's prayers. If you want to take the measure of someone, you judge them by their deeds, not their words. Simple as that. Elias preached of saving the world while standing atop a mountain of corpses. Then there was the Wanderer. Everything Elias was not. Tainted by Lilith's blood, and yet able to resist her corruption. That was what I witnessed in the Wanderer's deeds. And that was when I started to think that perhaps together, we could keep the evil at bay. Must have been. No more gruesome than the rest of Sanctuary's underbelly. <laughs> 